Here we go. These free kicks are insane. Let me do another one. Come on. Come on, Roberto Carlos. Come on. Oh my word. These go in every single time. These are ridiculous. Hey guys, Zaloni is here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In today's video, I am showing you one of my most popular videos every year. How to score every free kick on FIFA 23. It's changed a lot this year. We've got a lot of new techniques. I'm going to explain the new system to you, show you a variety of ways you can score. On previous FIFAs, there was only one way of scoring the free kicks consistently. This year, there's quite a few ways, and I'm going to show you lots of clips, explain exactly how to do it. It's very easy. I spent hours in the arena practicing the new techniques. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it in the arena, and then show you in-game examples so you know how to score them in-game. One of the things I really like this year in the arena is you can actually move the ball around. So when you're doing the normal arena here, you can actually now press one of the arrows and set a free kick up. I'm going to show you a bunch of clips explaining exactly how to do it. If you like these type of videos, guys, please subscribe to the channel. Every single day I'm putting tutorials, tactics, meta player reviews, all the good stuff to help you improve at FIFA. So this is the YouTube channel to be. And then I stream live daily over on Twitch, Zalonius92. Check out one of my live streams, come say hi, and ask me some questions. Now let's show you some clips and exactly how to score these free kicks. Here we are in the practice arena, and I'm going to break down techniques on how to score these free kicks every time. For any OGs of the channel, you will remember me using this software a lot before. Quite a simple software, but very effective. Epic Pen, we are getting the arrows back on the screen. So... Here we are in the arena, we're using Messi, and one thing I want to say that is really important about these free kicks is that it's you have to be willing to adapt based on what the game gives you. Obviously this is just a practice arena, but it's a very good place to test, practice, learn the technique, get the power, and just muscle memory right. And it's against Courtois and Net, so it's a good keep, so you have to get these free kicks right. But the thing in game is, the wall doesn't always tend to be in the same place. And because I can't just get someone to just keep fouling me in an online match to set these free kicks up, I can't consistently show you how the wall changes or how the wall's not consistent. But what we're going to do is I'm going to show you examples in the arena of how to score these free kicks on both sides and then examples of me scoring them in ultimate team in the foot moments mode, which is in-game with a proper keeper, proper wall in an in-game match situation. So here we are on the right side with Messi. If the wall is like this, which does happen in game a fair bit, you can see here, what I'm doing is I am positioning my free kick going like that. So it's basically aiming outside the post. I'm aiming the spin or the curl on the ball at about four o'clock. So I'm going there. I'm pushing the, to do this, you push the right stick down and right as much as possible until it's at the edge of the ball around four o'clock there. It's just the left stick to move a name there the left stick is to aim where you want the free kick to go and the right stick is to apply the curl in this bit around here and then in the arena you can't see the power but the power that i'm putting on almost every single time is two bars of power and watch what happens here you can just see the power above his head there two bars of power and it flies in top corner we're going to do it again you can see there we're putting the spin always putting the curl there I'm aiming it there. If you aim it there, it's going to be a bit too close to the keeper and he'll tend to save it. So watch this one here. Flies into the top corner. We'll do another one. We moved it a little bit this time. So we're putting the spin there. Aiming it again outside the post. You can see I'm always aiming it in basically the same spot. Always the same power. And it flies in top corner every single time. That is really easy to do. One thing I will say is that the further out you are, the harder these free kicks are to score. The general area that I think you can score a free kick every time on this game is around the, here. You can do it around here and around here as well, but it is a little bit harder. But when you get around this area here in the middle, you're going to score pretty much every single free kick if you use the techniques I've shown you in this video. The further out you get, the more power you have to put on, of course. So if you want to keep shooting from further out, put more power on. It's just not going to be as consistent. One thing as well to add is people might move the keeper. 
I've not got an example of this here, but if someone was to move their keeper to stand over here to cover you shooting into that corner, one thing you can do is you can just shoot a cross goal that way using the curled shot. Or sometimes it opens up depending on the wall is. You can do a knuckle shot, which is putting the spin there, where you just aim it right in the corner as powerful as you can. You can put full power on and it bullets into the corner. So you have to adapt based on how they're moving the keeper. But the easy technique that I'm showing you here and in the multiple clips is to score every single time if they don't move the keeper. Most people online do not move the keeper. And when they don't move the keeper, you can just keep rinsing and repeating this over and over again. Easy goals every single time. Two bars of power, flies in, crossbar in that time. If you want to know how to move your keeper, use the right stick. Using the right stick, holding it in and moving it will move the keeper. The best way to defend these free kicks if you're worried about it is move your keeper to one side and put a man on the line on the other. It's not going to consistently always stop it because the free kick still will beat the man on the line, but it is the best way to stop them. And as you can see, these are unstoppable and going to give you so many easy goals. Now let's show you free kicks on the other side so you can see the technique from there. So here we are on the other side. Again, like I said, you do have to bear in mind where the wall is, how the keeper's positioned, are they going to move the keeper. All these things can affect how you take the free kick. But quite often in the game, the wall will set up like this. So when the wall sets up like this and you've got a left footer, you would take it like this, where you're aiming there. You put the inside foot curl to about 8 o'clock on the ball, if we're using like a 12 uh, number clock system. And watch what happens. I'll show you me scoring a couple. Right in the top corner. Like I said, this is against Courtois, one of the very best keepers in the game. Obviously... For a, a, a free kick taker, you need to have high stats. So shot power, that makes it, if you get it in the right place, the keepers are going to struggle to get the ball a lot more. Free kick accuracy, obviously important for where it goes. Curve, that matters more on the shot free kicks you want to curve. You can, just, you can see these are just going in absolutely every single time. They're absolutely unreal. One thing I will say is that if, say, they move the keeper there, so he's more in the middle of the net. You would turn the left stick this way. Obviously in the practice arena, I can't get the keeper to do that. You turn the left stick this way, and then you would aim like there, to basically the, this line here going there, and then you would put the curl there. So aiming there to go outside, uh, to go into this corner, and then curl that way outside of the boot. And it's the same, just being a bit weird there, sorry. You've got to put it there. And then on the other side that we were shooting on, if they moved the keeper to that side when you were shooting it, when we were doing the free kicks before, you would then put it into the other corner. If people put man on the line, these free kicks aren't as consistent. That is the best way to defend them, like I said. But like I said, if a lot of people online are not going to move the keeper for free kicks. They don't even know how to. So these are going to be very consistent and a very easy way to get lots of goals. You just see, they just fly in the top corner. Get a good free kick taker because it's really important. I'm now going to show you some examples in game of how it works as well. Just so you know it's not just the practice arena. You can see here that we're in game now. Foot moment has quite a few free kick challenges. So it's a really good way to actually test it in game. Like I said though, the way they've set up the practice arena this year is brilliant. You can pretty much recreate what it's like in real game. The only difference with actually in matches is that... The wall does move around, like I said. One thing to bear in mind, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, is it should be pretty obvious, but for a left foot, you have to go that side to do an inside the foot curl, that side for outside of the foot curl, and then for a right foot, you have to go that side for inside foot, and that side for outside foot. On this one here, we can't, I, on the prex reader, I was doing outside the foot from this position. I can't do outside of the foot from here because I just can't curl the ball around that wall with the way in. So we have to adapt. We have to go inside foot. If the wall was, say, this man was there, then I would do the outside the foot curl. And it does change up like that. Sometimes people move it out of the wall. If they're not going to move the keeper in this situation, I'm going to just go for it like this. It's a little bit further out. So if they move the keeper there, you could try power it to that corner. But the problem with that is it's a bit further out and the keeper might recover. It all depends on how far they move the keeper, what they do on the wall. So 
or what they do with putting a man on the line. So you do have to look out for all these things if you want to get more consistent. But watch how I score these. These are pretty crazy. Remember with these free kicks, the power bar, you need to adapt this based on how far you are. So if I'm shooting a bit closer, so this one's about 23 meters. If I was to shoot right on the edge of the box, I'd be putting the power bar down to about there, maybe just under two. But because I'm slightly further out, I'm doing two and a half. So look, well, it's not quite two and a half, two and a quarter. You see, it goes right in the top corner. Getting the power bar right is important. Like I said, for the free kicks in the arena, it was two bars because it was right on the edge of the box. If you're shooting anywhere like around this line and that way, anywhere along from there, you're going to do about two bars. If you're shooting anywhere from around here, I wouldn't be shooting from here or there. That's why I'm doing there or that way. Then I'd be doing about two and a quarter, two and a half. If you're shooting anywhere around here further, you're starting to get into the territory where it's not going to be consistent. But you might want to start going to two and three quarter, three power bar. There is going to be a bit of a difference based on the free kick taker you use, the stance they use, the different technique styles. So like Roberto Carlos hits free kicks different than Lionel Messi. So you have to get used to that. So pick a free kick taker you like, obviously with good stats. And then start learning how the power works for you. But for the edge of the box, two bars is perfect. So here, one of the things that you can notice that we're doing is when we're curling it from this type of position, trying to put it right there in the top corner or we can use the circle we're trying to put it right around here the hardest place for the keeper to get it we are basically aiming it on the shoulder of the last man on this side of the wall if you was taking it on the other side with a right foot uh, free kick taker you would basically be aiming it on this guy on the right side of the wall and aiming to put it in that top corner that's the way this works if you was doing this free kick with a right foot taker from this side, you'd still be aiming here because of the way the keeper's positioned, and you'd be inside curling it probably about there, just because you're going to be curling it like that. So watch me score a few here. See how consistent they are, even in game. That one misses, of course. Very typical. Watch the rest, though. They're not always going to go in every single time, just because the way the keepers are on this game, they're pretty glitchy at times. But if you can score 80, 90% from within 23, 24 meters, that is going to help out. Look at how beautiful that one was. One of the problems with free kicks is that from further out, they're just not going to be as good. But if you, I would say the area around the box that I showed you guys, you're going to score them nearly every single time. And it's going to make your opponent think, going to make them a bit more scared about giving you free kicks. It just looks beautiful as well, the motion with which it goes in. So we'll show you one more here. Remember... Aim it over the wall there. We're putting it there just on his shoulder so that it goes like that and curls into that far corner. Go on, Carla, show us a beautiful one. You can see there, by the way, you can put a man under the wall. No need to do this. Even when people jump, I've not seen any use for it. I would be tempted to like try and get a friend to let me score or shoot a free kick where he jumps and I put it under the wall. I don't know if that is going to be a thing but it's never worked before on fifa maybe it would be but for now you can see how good this technique is how consistent it is so there you go i've showed you how to score them in game i've talked to you about how to defend them if someone just keeps scoring these against you or at least to give you a better chance i've told you how to hit them from different positions with left foot free kick takers right foot free kick takers how to do inside foot outside the foot how to adapt based on if they move the keeper if they uh, move if the wall's in different positions these free kicks really will add to your game. And FIFA is one of these things that the more unpredictable you can get, the better you can get at just adding little extra bits to your game, the better the player you'll become. So hopefully this free kick tutorial has helped you, help you score a lot more. Later tonight, I'm going to be putting a penalty shoot tutorial. Later tonight, I'm going to be putting a penalty tutorial out uh, that explains the new penalty system and how to score those easy. Thank you for watching. Can please consider liking, commenting and subscribing on this video if it's helped you. Have a good one and I'll see you in the next.